What is up guys? Welcome back to the 5th Down Sports Channel. Now, today we are going to be taking a look at the 2018 NFL Draft uh, of the Indianapolis Colts. And we're going to be grading each pick. Quentin Nelson Guard, Notre Dame, future Hall of Famer, there's not a lot to say, A+. Darius Leonard, A+. Stud Pro Bowl outside linebacker, ecstatic about him, and hopefully he'll be a leader on this defense for years and years to come. Uh, A-plus on Braden Smith. We did a good job converting him to tackle. Um, he didn't let up any sacks. Just a really, really nice tackle for us. And he should be holding down that right tackle spot for many, many years. Kamoko Ture, um, I'm going to give him a C. And um, he hasn't lived up to that hype that we wanted him. He has shown some flashes. I mean, he had some injury problems, but he's definitely shown some flashes. But he hasn't just lived up to the hype, so that's why I give it a C or a C minus. Um, Tyquan Lewis, I'm gonna give a D plus. Um, Colts just haven't been able to develop defensive tackles very well. That's why we traded for DeForest Buckner. Um, but Tyquan Lewis is stud, or he wasn't. A stud. He's a stud coming out of college. Uh, I forget for Ohio State. Uh, he showed a lot of upside. And he just never developed into the defensive tackle that the Colts wanted. They tried playing him at defensive end. Didn't work out. Uh, he's a solid depth piece, but that's about it. I don't see a future for him as a starter on the Colts. But you never know. Round number four, we got Nakeem Hines. He's just the playmaker. You, he receives the ball. He could be a return man. He could be an explosive running back. A plus pick in the fourth round for Dakeem Hines. And hopefully he'll lock down this Colts for a while. Number five, or in the round number five, we got Darius Fountain from a wide receiver. Um, I'm going to give this a D minus. He, it was a project we took on, and he just never turned out to be that wide receiver, and now he's out of the league. And round number five, uh, we got Jordan Wilkins. He's our fourth string running back. I'm going to give this a D plus. I mean, he's still on the roster, which means he's halfway decent. He's shown some flashes. Uh, I mean, he's a good depth running back piece. I mean, he's our fourth running back, but he can still um, make some plays. Um, round number six, we got Deion Kane out of Clemson. Uh, he... Never really played much snaps as a Colt. I know he played for the Steelers for a little bit, but he's out of the league now. Um, another wide receiver project that the Colts took on didn't work out, and I'm going to give this a D plus, and Jordan Wilkins as well, or is a D plus. Because Deion Kane at least made it onto the field, where Therese Fountain barely even played a playoff game. Um, they're not a playoff game, but preseason game. Round number seven, we got Matthew Adams. People might be like, okay, this guy is it that good. And he's a nice linebacker piece. He showed some upside. I'm going to give this one a D plus to a C because he is still on the roster and he's a nice little linebacker piece. Zaire Franklin is a C because he is a our special teams captain and he's shown a lot of upside. Um... To be a nice special teams player. He's made some special teams plays. And once again, he's linebacker depth. But yeah, that's the uh, Colts. My ranking of the 2018 NFL Draft. Next year we'll do 2019. And tomorrow we should have our mock draft before the draft. I am so excited for to Thursday night. That is going to be a blast. I am so excited. This draft, I hope, is going to bring a lot of excitement. I know a lot of people... Are nervous because of the whole 49ers going to get two not-so-great quarterbacks, probably. But yeah, I'm sick. This was hard for me to record this video, but I wanted to do it for you guys. So that's all I have for you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.